Alright people, welcome back to the card review. So lately we've been, you know, reviewing a lot of new cards. But today we're going to go ahead and look and discuss a card that is arguably the most powerful trap card in the game right now. Uh, going to kind of come at it, kind of mega capital G style. So we're just going to, you know, discuss this card, the power of this card, and how prevalent it will be in this upcoming meta, uh, you know, the April 2015 list. So of course, you guys know this card. Do I even have to introduce this? This is Minecraft. This card is so damn powerful it's just amazing how powerful this card is so mind crush is a normal trap card that reads declare one card name if that card is in your opponent's hand they must discard all copies of it otherwise you discard one random card so you're probably thinking like oh well you know that sounds fair if you you just declare a random card and if you don't get it then you have to discard a random card out of your hand so you know it's rich versus reward but how fast and consistent the game is right now that's not necessarily the case so let's go ahead and look at the top deck. So we'll go ahead and start off with Necros. As you guys know, Necros are probably one of the most searchy decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, the deck gets high consistency because it's so searchy. It's so searchy. You know, it's the runs, the Rotas, and the Shrits, and the Bryonics, and the Manju, and the Sanju, and it's just so damn searchy that if you go first and you set the Mind Crush, good chances are they're going to play something to search. All they need to do is play one card that searches for searches them one thing you go ahead and flip out that mind crash call that exact card that you just saw because they just searched it and as long as that code is not at one you get to go ahead and confirm their hand and check for multiple copies now if that's not powerful i don't know what it is like knowledge is power and i, I it just being able to see your opponent's current hand just being able to see your opponent's hand gives you an immense advantage that no other card can possibly give you just the ability to see into your opponent's hand there's a similar card called of course trap dust shoot that is currently banned where you go ahead if your opponent has what five or more cards in their hand you go ahead and play it uh you look in your opponent's hand select one of their cards uh i think it's select a monster and you shuffle it back into the deck but well, the reason why it's so powerful is because first turn trap dust shoot you get knowledge of your opponent's hand you know in a sense this card's exactly the same even worse because it can hit multiple copies and it can hit you know, non-monsters. You know, Trap Dust Shoot can only hit monsters. You play Trap Dust Shoot, you can only grab a monster, shuffle back into that. Mind Crush, doesn't matter. Spell, Trap, Monster, whatever it is in their hand, you play Mind Crush, you call it, look into your opponent's hand, get rid of all of the copies, all of the copies. So, you know, for example, if, if you call, you know, MST, and they have multiple, oh, that's not a really good example because they could just, you know, activate the MSTs and get them out of their hand. All right, that's bad. All right, let's say you call Rhoda. No, no, even better, even better, even better, because there's another deck that's coming up prominently uh, that searches a lot, of course, uh, being, you know, Fire Fist. Fire Fist might be coming back with, you know, three axes, or people might attempt it. They play Tanky. Let's say they go activate Tanky, search for, I don't know, Bear, all right? You go Mind Crush, call Bear. If they have multiple copies in their hand of Bear, take all the Bears out. All the Bears out, throw them away, throw them into the graveyard, and you get to see their whole entire hand. Like, if that's not powerful, it's, it's just ridiculous, you know? Necros, you're gonna get get mind crushed. Teller Knights, they get mind crushed. Cleese, they get mind crushed. Like ev almost every single deck in Yu-Gi-Oh now searches and is fairly consistent enough for you to be able to run triple mind crush and just shut them down. And if you've been seeing the top decks, you cannot see uh, a deck profile without a deck running triple mind crush. That seems like it's the most pre prevalent uh, trap card. Is mind crush, mind crush, mind crush, mind crush. And when you look at it, it just nets you so much advantage and hurts your opponent so much that it's just shocking that this card is at three. Now, it, set precedence, this card has been at multiples before. It's been at three, then it went down to one, then it went to two, then it went to one, then it went to two, then it went to three. So right now it's sitting at three. And you know what? I'm surprised. I was actually kind of shocked that they didn't hit this at all. Like. Just looking at various, you know, YCSs and ARGs and regionals, you can clearly see that Mind Crush is so prevalent. And it's such a powerful card that I, you know, I personally, I think this card should be at one. Like, this card shouldn't be at any higher than one. You know, you play it, you get it one time. But being able to have high consistency and triple of this card, the card at this power, at this caliber, to be able to play triple of this and just see your opponent's hand and make them get rid of the card just because decks have high searchability and high speed in this game is just it's just too much it's just too much like with vanities going down to one this card is the new trap card this is it you know last format it was triple vanities everybody do triple vanities this this format is triple minecraft and you know minecraft goes up and down with popularity but it just seems like the faster 
and more consistent decks get in the game, you know, the more obvious it is with Mind Crush. And it's just so powerful. It's just, I think it's too powerful, especially with multiple copies. At one, all right. You know, I, I, I would I would definitely go ahead and put this at the same, in the same boat as like Vanities, where you should only get one. Definitely. Because this card is just too damn powerful just to be able to play multiple copies. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I'm just shocked that this card didn't get hit. And I'm shocked that it's at three. Like, I if I was kind of, I, I would have read this card and been like, no, no, no. This card is clearly way too powerful. That The knowledge. The knowledge is just powerful enough, you know seeing your opponent's hand you know knowledge is power and if you're a decent duelist or you see your opponent's hand you at least know you know what 90 percent of their play is for the next upcoming turns until they're drawn to unknown factors of, until they're drawn to their unknown factors but besides that you're you're cool you're set for a cool minute you know you're gonna you're a mind crush see their hand so you know 100 percent of their hand then you're gonna they're gonna draw into one unknown factor, so it's, it's the percentage slowly drops, but you're still gonna have that advantage of knowing a good majority of their hand, and that in itself is uh, should just be enough to either get this card limited, and uh, you know when you even set it side by side with even the, with the calibers of trap dust, you, it, maybe it should just be banned. Maybe you shouldn't be able to do this to your opponent. You shouldn't be able to just call and see your opponent's hand like this. You know, I, I don't know. I just think it's just ridiculous how this card is still at three, and I just had to discuss it. I had to sit down and discuss it. You know, on my uh, I did a top five video, and I said top five hits I would do. I definitely said hitting mind crush, or or, or the other video where I you know I can't remember. It was one of the videos where I discussed about how mind crush should be hit, and it definitely should. You know, uh, either limited or banned. Like this card shouldn't be at three at all. Like no. All right, so I'm done. So tell me what you guys think about Minecraft and uh, you know the relevance and the meta and whether you're running triple of it in your deck if you uh, do have a competitive deck that you're taking to various YCSs or regionals or uh, ARGs. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. All right, people, thanks for watching. <laughs>